And good morning. Welcome to a Tuesday morning, just a couple of days away. We're talking Turkey Day. Let's take a look at that uh, weather window right now. Interstate 15 looking pretty good. We're looking at I-15 along uh, looking at the Monte Vista Bridge there. Traffic looking pretty good, but that traffic is going to be picking up over the next couple days. 10 degrees right now in through Pocatello with clear skies, calm winds, about 17 in town. 13 in through Idaho Falls with clear skies and a wind at about 6 miles per hour. Here's a look at some temperatures around the region. You can see we're below zero through Afton Jackson not figuring in the wind speeds. Driggs 10, Rexburg 12, Island Park 1, teens for Dubois, single digits out through the Arco Desert. As we factor in that wind, you can see, man, we take a plunge. Jackson 19 below right now, Rexburg 12, Dillon, Montana 3, Salmon 7, Chalice 10 degrees. And here's a look at those wind speeds. Calm in through Pocatello, 3 mile per hour winds through Blackfoot, 6 mile per hour winds through Idaho Falls, calm through Rexburg, out near the Arco Desert. We're looking at single digit wind speeds on the low end. And that's kind of where we'll stay with those wind speeds today. Not really picking up today. Storm tracker radar pretty clear right now as far as any disturbances. But here it comes. This system that's moving in off the Pacific, pushing in through Oregon and Washington. That's going to be hitting us about midnight tonight, 1 o'clock in the morning. That's going to drop some snow in through our region. But until then, we're looking for sunshine today through the Snake River Plain. Highs in the 30s above the freezing mark for Idaho Falls, Rexburg, Blackfoot, American Falls, and Pocatello hitting a high of 36 today. Sunshine in through the highlands in western Wyoming. We'll be in the 30s today for Island Park. Jackson, Yellowstone, Driggs, Soda Springs, Afton in the upper 20s. Partly cloudy skies through the Central Mountains, 31 for the high for Salmon, 32 for Chalice, 33 for Mackey. And as we move into the overnight hours, into your Wednesday morning, mostly cloudy skies through the Central Mountains, Salmon hitting a low of 24, 20 for Lettor and Mackey, 21 for Chalice. Chance of that snow developing from midnight into the early morning hours of Wednesday, probably 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Snow showers, not really a whole lot of accumulation, but especially into the mountains and past travel, that can make it a little difficult if you're planning to travel in the overnight hours. Overnight lows through Jackson, 21. Same for Soda Springs, 22 for Island Park. And for the Snake River Plains, snow showers starting up. Ch best chance of those starting up around midnight, 1 o'clock this morning. 26 the low for Idaho Falls, 25 Rexburg, 29 Pocatello, 27 Blackfoot. Now let's take a look at your south. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast snow in the early morning hours of Wednesday for Pocatello, but we'll hit a high of 35 Thanksgiving Day looking pretty good. Partly cloudy 32 for the high. Another round of snow coming in Monday and Tuesday of next week. Blackfoot chance of early morning snow tomorrow. Another chance of snow Monday and Tuesday. Pretty clear though for Thursday your Thanksgiving Day with a high of 32 Idaho Falls. Once we get done with the snow tomorrow looking pretty good for Thursday with partly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy or mostly sunny skies for Friday. Highs warming up to 36 by Saturday. Rexburg, early morning snow tomorrow, 33 for the high, 30 for Thursday, and then a chance of snow Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. In the Teton area, yeah, this is good news for the snow hills. We're looking at snow tomorrow, and then snow again Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, look for some fresh snow on the ground there as you plan your skiing trips. Central Mountains, partly cloudy tomorrow, mostly sunny for Thursday, with a high of 35 tomorrow, upper 20s by Thursday, with a slight chance of snow coming in next Monday. Deanne?